welcome back to Red Ted Art. Now, this is a great science project or Earth Day project that you can make at home. You have to watch this video up here which shows you how to make the basic bowl, but today's video is about painting them and creating this basic nestling solar system. Now, I think this is going to be a bit of a waffly introduction, but I do think this is a great project for a science fair. Okay, these are not to scale, but it's a really fun way of showing, um, you know, talking about Earth and its different layers. So you've got the inner core, the outer core, and the mantle, and what it looks like in the moon and the sun. So it's a bit different, a bit quirky. I'm gonna link down below lots of scientific information if you want that you could put into your project about the Earth's layers um, down below. So there's gonna be a whole uh, post about that there. But uh, today, it's just the creative side of your science fair project and showing how to paint and make these bowls aren't they cute they'd be a great gift to a science teacher actually as well wouldn't they really really fun so come on let's take a look and watch me paint so as mentioned i've got three different sizes one for the sun the moon and uh, the earth and i'm literally going to just start painting using acrylic paints these are really good because they've got a really nice finish if you don't have acrylic paints that's fine use any paints you've got at home because these are paper it should be fine whatever you use but i quite like acrylics because they've got a really lovely finish um, and as with the lovely fruit bowls we've shown before which i'll show link um, literally this is a painting video just watch me paint sit back relax and enjoy <laughs> i hope there's enough yellow here for the sun but we'll see the moon I didn't do much painting because I quite like the textures and the color of it already now we're going to let them all dry and then afterwards we're going to put in the core of our planets and I think that'd be really good detail so let's wait for that and then come back and do the last bit Wow, since I let that dry, look, the sunshine has come out. Well, this really is a nice sunny day for painting. Things dry really quickly. We're now going to paint the insides of our uh, bowls. And I'm going to paint all three at the same time because they've all got similar colours and colour schemes going on. So I've actually um, gone online, had a look at uh, information about the core of the uh, different planets and I will link it down below, give you the information as well. So if you're doing this as a science project for school, you will be able to get all the information that you need um, down below in terms of um, what the different layers of your planet are. So I've done this to help me paint. It's basically got Earth, Moon and Sun. I know it's really small, but it's telling me the different layers. So I've got inner core, outer core and the mantle. Those are the main um, areas for the Earth same for the moon and the sun's got a core a convective and a radiated zone i think i said that right but like i said i will link them down below and you can read all about it and use that in your science project so i'm going to as always speed the video up as we paint and i'm going to start off with my central white parts um, then introduce some gray or maybe the colors i'm not quite sure yet but um, you'll see as we go along
right so we're going to show them all again at the end but i just wanted to point out a couple of things before i forget um oh <laughs> loads of shadows there now aren't they let's see if i can move that there we go is that out of the way anyway you probably saw me blending as i went along so we went from yellow through to red and you can blend as you go and that's quite fun also you might have noticed if you do a little mistake don't worry about it just kind of let it dry a bit and then paint over the top um and yeah and i think that's really sort of all i have to say about that so now i'm going to let it dry i'm going to let the sunshine kind of resettle a bit so we can see it all properly and uh yes and then of course we'll sign off anyway see you in a moment so here are the bowls again finished aren't they adorable i love how they look now i just have to confess i added i didn't show this in the painting uh in the painting in the video i added an extra layer of green and um, that the green i had before didn't come out bright enough so if i mixed a bit of green with a bit of white and went over it and that's all that i did that isn't in the video but aren't they fabulous so you've got the sun the earth and the moon they're not to scale i do realize that but they're kind of a fun project that you can source you know you can store it really nicely they make a really fun project for somebody who loves science could be a little gift you can put all sorts of little things in it like rubbers and pencils and that kind of thing and you can discuss the core of the earth the sun and the moon and see how they're different from each other anyway i hope you enjoyed this project um, if you do create this as a science project for school remember down below i've got extra information about the science behind these um, but obviously this is an art project which would be quite fun to combine it with a science project at a science fair so uh, like comment add this to your playlist and of course i'd love to see you here again soon take care bye